Hello and welcome to this lecture series of complex analysis. In today's lecture, we will learn Taylor series expansion and Lorentz series expansion. Taylor series. What is Taylor series? Okay, let us take the R is the region bounded by the circle capital C. So this is a capital C and this part highlighted one is the region. If take, let us take any function. Now take any function fz, which is analytic inside this capital R. In that case, fz is expanded in the form of fa plus z minus a, f dash a plus z minus a whole square divided by factorial 2, f double dash a plus z minus a whole cube divided by factorial 3, f triple dash a. f dash a means df by dz. Similarly, f double dash a means d to f by dz at j equal to a. So this can be written in the form of summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n z minus a raised to the power n. Okay, here this a n, we are taking this as a n. a n means this thing. z minus a, sorry, f n a divided by factorial n. This is our a n. So a n is this. And now you, if you recall that Cauchy integral formula, that states that uh, along the closed curve C, fz divided by z minus a raised to power n, dz equal to 2 pi i factorial n minus 1, f raised to power n minus 1 at the point a. So if I will change this part, then I will get fn a equal to factorial n divided by 2 pi i, fn a, 1 power less, so fn a. So I'm taking this as n, n minus 1 equal to n I'm putting, n minus 1 equal to n. So this will be fn a equal to factorial n divided by 2 pi i, c fz upon z minus a raised to the power n plus 1. If I'm taking n minus 1 equal to n, then n will become n plus 1. So using this, I can say this fn is be given as 1 upon 2 pi i, Factorial n, factorial n will be cancelled out. Fw upon w minus a raised for n plus 1 into dw. I have changed this z with w. Lorentz series. Capital R is the reason bounded by two concentric circles C1 and C2. Okay, The reason outside the C2 and inside C1. Okay, And fz is analytic in this particular region, annular region. In that case, fz is given by n equal to summation n equal to 0 to n equal to infinity a n z minus a raised to power n plus n equal to 1 to n equal to infinity b n z minus a raised to power minus n. Okay, this is important. This part is not analytic part. z minus a raised to power minus n is coming here. So, this will be non not analytic at z equal to a. Where a n is given by 1 upon 2 pi i c1 f w upon w minus a fw upon w minus a raised for n plus 1 dw n equal to 0 1 2 3 and bn is again same 1 upon 2 pi i for c2 fw upon w minus a raised to the power in place of n here minus n will come w minus a raised for minus n plus 1 dw and n will start from 1 2 3 dot 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 in the examination the question can be asked in different form for that we need binomial theorem Binomial expansion, binomial theorem or binomial expansion. In if we take 1 plus x raised power n that is equal to 1 plus nx divided by factorial 1 plus n into n minus 1 x square divided by factorial 2 plus n into n minus 1 n minus 2 x cube divided by factorial 3. So the most important thing is that here the mod of x should be less than 1. Then only we can expand in this form. So if I will take n equal to minus n in place of n that is minus n in that case this will come minus and this will become minus n minus n minus 1 so minus will be come outside so that will become plus so n into n plus 1 x square upon factorial 2 minus n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 x cube divided by factorial 3 means alternate positive negative but 
in this way n into n plus 1 okay if I will take 1 minus x raised power minus n this minus and this also minus so because of that x uh, negative sign with x this will become positive so all positive in this case so these two are very important uh, which we will use while solving numerical problems uh, similarly 1 plus x is power minus 1 this will come 1 plus x to the power minus 1 so alternate positive negative 1 minus x plus x square 1 minus x to the power minus 1 this is equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube let's take the question in which we will expand fz equal to z upon z plus 1 into z plus 2 in Lorentz series in the reason number 1 mod of z less than 1 number 2 mod of z less than 2 and greater than 1 number 3 this region number 4 this region so four different regions are given to you and you have to expand this particular function in terms of Lorentz series so how to do that uh, solution step number one first step is take the partial fraction okay to do the partial fraction of this what is fz z upon z plus 1 into z plus 2 so we proceed like a upon z plus 1 plus b upon z plus 2 in next line z equal to a z plus 2 plus b z plus 1 now put z equal to minus 2 and put z equal to minus 2 while putting z equal to minus 2 if I will put z equal to minus 2 here this will be 0 so and minus 2 I, if I will put j minus 2 here so minus 2 minus minus 2 plus 1 plus 1 this will come minus 1 uh, minus b equal to 2 minus b equal to minus 2 z equal to minus 2 so minus b equal to minus 2 so b will be 2 similarly put z equal to minus 1 putting z equal to minus 1 here this will become 0 so a equal to minus 1 so equal to minus 1 so finally I got fz equal to a a equal to minus 1 so minus 1 upon z plus 1 minus 1 upon z plus 1 plus b b is 2 2 upon z plus 2 so this is what we got step number 2 to apply binomial theorem binomial theorem okay binomial theorem uh, we already learned just now so and we need to remember one thing that in binomial theorem we have, will apply binomial theorem if mod of x less than 1 this is the whole theme of this uh, expansion how we expand that that will depend only on that we have to take that x which is less than 1 so first part now we need to analyze the reason the first part is mod of z is less than 1 this is given to you so if we look here 2 upon z plus 2 in which we need to make it 1 in the form of 1 plus x so if mod of z less than 1 then then what mod of z will be less than 2 as well because if it is less than 1 then it will be less than 2 also so here we need to make it 1 plus x type of thing and x has to be less than 1 so mod of z is less than 2 so z upon 2 if I will take z in here so z mod z divided by mod 2 will be less than 1 this will be less than 1 so I have to make it 1 plus x where x is z by 2 so see here so 2 I can make it 1 plus z by 2 by taking 2 common or you can say you take the greater part outside greater out of these two greater which is greater either z or 2 2 is greater because mod mod of z is less than 2 so 2 is greater so 2 I took outside so 2 1 plus z by 2 okay 2 1 plus z by 2 here 2 1 plus z by 2 minus 1 1 plus z z is less than 1 so this is okay now I can apply binomial theorem 2 and 2 will be cancelled out 1 plus z by 2 raised power minus 1 minus 1 plus z raised power minus 1 binomial theorem is 1 plus x raised power minus 1 if 1 negative is there then alternate positive negative 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube so apply here so 1 minus z by 2 plus z by 2 whole square minus z by 2 whole cube plus dot 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 minus 1 minus z plus z square 
minus z cube plus dot dot dot. Okay, this is the Lorentz series expansion. Next part, part number two. In this case, mod of z is given in between one and two. Okay, so mod of z is greater mod of z is greater than one. So this implies one upon z is less than one. So I will take x as one by z. Similarly, mod of z this is less than 2 so z by 2 z by 2 will be less than 1 we need to take the greater part outside outside uh, 1 plus z by 2 this is okay 2 2 will be cancelled out this is the first part now from this part I need to take z common because 1 upon z will be less than 1 so 1 plus 1 by z is for minus 1 step 1 minus z by 2 plus z by 2 whole square minus z by 2 whole cube minus 1 upon z into 1 minus 1 upon z plus 1 by z square minus 1 upon 1 by z cube dot 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 the first part is the analytic part and the second part is non-analytic part so this is the Lorentz series expansion next third third case in third case it is given that mod of z is greater than 2 if mod of z is greater than 2 then z by 2 I cannot take I will take 2 by z so 2 by z will be less than 1 if I take here 2 by z will be less than 1 so we need to check that which is less than 1 mod of z greater than 2 then definitely mod of z will be greater than 1 so 1 upon z will be less than 1 so in first part I will take z common as well as in second part I will take z common so from the both part I will take z common so this will be like 2 upon z now binomial expansion apply binomial expansion 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube similarly uh, minus 1 upon z then binomial 1 minus 1 upon z plus 1 upon z square minus 1 upon z cube plus dot 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 so this is Lorentz series expansion in this case the third case that is z plus 2 mod of z plus 2 mod of z plus 2 lies in between 0 and 1 to deal with such type of question in which mod of z is not given but in place of mod of z something like that mod of z plus 2 mod of z minus 2 such type of things are given in that case we put that as t so put z plus 2 equal to t if once I put z plus 2 equal to t so z plus 2 equal to t means uh, so 2 by t what z plus 2 equal to t so z plus 1 will be t minus 1 okay so this become t minus 1 so minus sign was there so this will become 2 by t minus minus plus 1 upon 1 minus t what is given to us mod of z plus 2 less than 1 and greater than 0 so that implies mod of t less than uh, 1 and greater than 0 so this is equal to fz equal to 2 by t plus 1 divided by 1 minus t now I need to check that is this t is less than 1 or not yes this t is less than 1 so I can go for binomial expansion so 2 by t 1 minus t raised to power minus 1 so expanding it with the help of binomial theorem because both are negative so 1 plus t plus t square plus t cube dot 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 now finally substitute t equal to z plus 2 I will get this answer this is the final answer so this is how we can solve questions when it is asked to expand any question in terms of Taylor series or Lorentz series thank you for watching and keep practicing thank you